How's it going YouTube? It's APOC and welcome to another Lens Studio 5 tutorial. Uh, today we're in 5.4.1 and I'm going to show you some common issues with the screen transforms and 2D screen images and how to fix them. So the first thing is actually editing a screen image. So we're just going to add in a screen image here. You can see there's no 2D editor. Uh, you have to go up to Window, Editor, 2D Editor and add it in. You're going to need to do that every single time you open a new project. I don't know why. That's just how it is. It doesn't seem to save it. Uh, and sometimes this editor might break while you're just working on the project. Add it again and it should fix it. Uh, and to get your image to show up, you just click on it in the scene. Okay, also, the snapping button acts very weird. Sometimes it just, my clicks just don't register on it. I don't know why, but right now it's working. But I promise you, if you try enough, click in the middle, click once and let go and move your mouse off because the highlighting kind of looks like the same as when it's disabled or whatever. Uh, you know, it'll work. It does work. Just might mess you up a little bit. <laughs> Next thing, render order. So in, in LS4, render orders were set for you automatically. So if we have a situation like this, let's add in something that's not transparent real quick. Uh, and I wanted this one to be behind the other one. Sometimes just moving it like this is going to work and it does work in this case. But let's say it doesn't. Uh, and I need to change that. We can change the render order right here. So we're gonna move that back behind it and you can see it's on top, behind. So edit your render orders. You should probably edit them anyway if you don't really need to uh, because it will keep you more organized and save you some trouble in the future if you have a ton of images or something. Uh, but yeah, that is not set automatically anymore. That's a pretty big difference. The next thing is stuff just disappears it doesn't show up this happens i believe with the face inset component for one another one is the image carousel uh, in the asset library this one let me find it real quick image carousel this one everyone has this problem with so we're going to add in a screen transform and add the image carousel onto that let's just throw in some images so it will populate here and it's just one pixel right there like i can't <laughs> can't even do anything with it it's because on the orthographic camera, by default, it adds this canvas a lot of the time. Sometimes it's not there, but it's there now. And this canvas breaks stuff. So I suggest deleting it or disabling it. I like to disable it just in case I run into something that might need it. But really, if you want to just clean it up, you can delete it. I haven't found anything that actually needs it. And you can see it already came back, but normally you want to click your refresh button up here in your preview and it will be fixed and it won't mess with any of your other screen images. Like everything will just work as normal. I really don't know why that canvas was there, I'm not going to lie. And then one more thing, this is seems to be fixed on 5.4.1, but sometimes your images, if we go here in the 3D scene, uh, they'll end up behind the camera when you add them. What I mean is they won't be able to be rendered by the camera if they are at a Z-index that's actually behind it. And you can go into Advanced here on your screen transform and change the position here to have negative one, and it's going to fix that. Uh, if it's like, you know, I think beyond one is where it begins. Yeah, so if it's like 1.1, 1 .1, it's not going to show up. And some stuff, for some reason, gets added like that uh, when you move stuff around. So make sure you just set that to negative one or something, you know, lower than that, and you'll be all right. And I think that covers all of it. So thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, let me know what other videos you want to see. Peace.